Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Now today I'm going to make a um, card, an Easter card or something like that and I'm going to use something that was sent to me from one of my subscribers and I think it arrived yesterday or it may have been the day before, I've lost track now. We've got this beautiful card inside and the items came from a lady called Elizabeth Ranwell and she's from the Isle of Wight and she bought them from Hunky Dory. She had like a goodie box lucky dip and she can't use some of these things so she sent them to me hoping that um, I can do something maybe with them on the channel and she's also wished us a happy Easter and um, told us to keep well obviously at this difficult time so um, thank you ever so much and I really really love the card let me just show you that again it's really really cute and the items that we've got we have an embossing folder here which is in the shape of a tree so that would be really cool wouldn't it for um, different sorts of cards and things maybe um, invitations, christenings, that sort of thing. You could put like um, extra little hearts on it dangling off. Um, we've also got this Easter die cut so we'll be using that as well. We won't be using all of these in this tutorial but I just wanted to show you the things that um, Elizabeth sent me. We've got those as well. So if I turn that over there you can see the different things that you can do. And we've also got these like stacking dies as well. Um, so we can do all sorts of things with those, with card making and all sorts. So they will be going into my, my stash. But thank you so, so much for those. And they do like an, an arched window kind of effect there. So thank you so much for those, Elizabeth. And thank you for thinking of me and sending them to me. So I'm going to have a go now and see what we can make with these. Right, so I've cut out, using my Sizzix machine, a few of the dies. And I've just got here um, just a blank card and what I'm going to do is just kind of layer up a few things it's a quite a basic card um, but it will just give you a, a few ideas really and um, and things that you can do so I don't know how many of you guys are crafting with all of this um, you know all the problems the health problems that are going on at the moment so let me know if you're new to crafting and maybe you've started because you're in self-isolation or if you're having to you know, being made to force to stay at home and you're looking for things to do because it's um it's a great way to relax as well and it's great when you've got sort of things that you can that you can do to pass the time. So I'm just going to pop that over the top and again I'm not standing directly over the top which is really annoying because you can never get it um dead central and when I watch them back and I don't get it in the the you know the correct spot it really gets on my nerves um so i'm just going to put that on there that's just um using the little sticky pads and then i cut out this little kind of shape here from the giant i thought that looked quite sweet so i haven't got any of these small sticky tabs but you can cut them if you don't want them so big and i often do that so that's a smaller one there but yeah, let me know what um, what you're up to. If you are home educating now, the schools are off. How are you getting on with that? If you're at home with your partner, are they driving you mad? I know Carl is me a little bit, and he's only been off for a few days. Right, so we'll just put that in the middle there. Although he is very useful at doing jobs, I have to say. He's cleaned the oven today and clean the toaster and he said he's going to pull all the bits out all the cupboards and oh yes it's, it's very good he's quite well trained is is carl so we'll put another bit here i have to say after my recent asda trip i did panic after reading some of the comments and um things about touching things and do you know, it's, it's really hard. I mean, I had my hand gel with me and I kept using that in between picking things up and while well, filming for you guys. But it's still, you know, it's still a worry. And we did wipe the, well, I did wipe the trolley before we went in. I say we because I took you with me. But, you know, it's still, um, still weird. Like, you know, it's hard to get my head around. I'm going to try not to go out now at all. Um, so we've got some food to last us a little while, so I'm going to try and stay in because I don't need anything, you know. So 
I'm sure we can manage. It's just really scary, isn't it? And that's why it's nice to do things like this, just to take our mind off it. We should have a day where we just don't mention it at all, shouldn't we, really? At home. And then I'm just going to pop that over the top there. I'm really hoping I'm getting these spot on because it will really annoy me when I look back if I haven't. So sorry if I haven't got it spot on. Um, and also I've got this Easter Wishes. That was so cute and I couldn't decide what colour to do it in. But Courtney said do it in white, sort of a bit glittery. And I think that would look quite nice. And I haven't got many... Um, colours left in my blank cardstock see this is the cardstock that I've got and I've been using but I've used loads of the colours that I like so I haven't got many of like pastels and um, colours that I wanted to use so I was really quite limited um, so I don't know I'm just I thought I'd use what I've got um, I'm going to use this craft tacky glue as well just to um, stick a few bits down um, I've got that flower which I thought would look quite nice in the corner. I'll pop one of these sticky tabs on. I suppose I should put this on at the end really. But I have kind of roughly worked out where I want everything going. <clears throat> and then there is, let me just show you on the packet, there is um this little stand on there, I don't know if you can see it, which is really cute with some tiny birds. Sorry if they're having a bit of a glary moment, those things there in the light. So I'm going to have a go at sticking some of those on, but I'm going to use this, the, the tacky glue for this, I think. I'll stick that down there. Now there's always going to be somebody that can do this better than you and knows a tip and whatever else. I mean, this, this does dry clear this glue and really I can't think of any other way to stick that on apart from using this wet glue because the the pieces are so small and intricate so I'm just sticking a dab of this on and hoping for the best really there's people out there that have been card making for a long time which probably get annoyed when they see me do things wrong but it's about having fun isn't it right and I've also got some little tiny birds see I, I find it really hard to work with small things like this you get some people that do all the things out of polymer clay and stuff like that and all the intricate things I think it's really cool but I'd be too clumsy for things like that I think look see I can't even stick this bird down it's sticking to me thumb at least it's not hot glue so we can all be thankful for that, can't we? Right, we've got these Easter wishes. And I think that would look nice if that was raised a bit. Maybe I could... Um, if I had some more card, I could maybe put something and then kind of stand that on the top of it. Because um, that would look quite nice, wouldn't it? But then I really like the way that the um, the arches go. The arches go there as well. Right, so I'm going to stick this over the top. I'm hoping it's going to go on okay. Just pop that there. It does look really pretty being white. I really quite like that. So that can just stick on there. It is dead basic, but like I did warn you, I'm not, I'm not dead fancy with things like this. Put that bow on, I think, as well. I think that would look quite cute there. Um, you can also use on things like this the um, the glitter drops. This is the Nouveau, the glitter, the glitter drops that sort of adds um, a bit of dimension. There's also like the 3D and um, the Dove Craft 3D Pearl effect. You can use things like that. I think I'm going to stick this butterfly on the side of this flower so it looks like the butterflies landed on the flower I think that would look quite cute just kind of stick that there um, also you can get these these um, are flat backs 
flat back pearls and they've got the sticky part on the back so you can um, take those off and maybe stick those around the card that would look quite nice um, but I think what I might do is just put a little bit of this on what other colours have I got I've got a blue one and I've got like um, the green one there I might do some of this There we go. That's not even really straight there, is it? But never mind. Okay, so there we go. That's a little quick idea of bits and pieces you can put together. And you could make loads of those, couldn't you, really? That if you just cut all the bits and pieces out, you could kind of layer them all up together and um, make a few cards for Easter this year. So there we go. Thank you so much, Elizabeth, for sending those to me. I really appreciate that. And um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You keep safe, guys. See you again soon. Take care. Bye for now.